Ice and snowmobile safety in the spotlight tonight after a man was killed in a snowmobiling accident in Cayuga County last night. Deputies say that accident happened at around 6.30 last night on Little Sotus Bay in the area of Fairhaven. Investigators say 54-year-old Rodney Turner of Red Creek was riding a snowmobile on a frozen section of the bay when the ice gave way and the snowmobile went into the water. Deputies say he was pulled from the water and taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. James Gilbert is joining us now. James, last year was a totally different caliber of cold. We're not seeing that this year. No, for sure. Last year we had days, if not uh, several weeks, right. below that 32 degree mark. And Sotus Bay was completely covered in ice, in some areas, a foot of ice, which is, of course, much safer for ice fishing and other winter activities. As you mentioned, this year it just has not been that way. Uh, you really want to drill uh, to see how deep that ice is, measure it with some measuring tape, and really the safest would be four inches. Take a couple more steps, and then you can even measure again. Uh, you, of course, need to look for cracks, flowing water, and, of course, open water, which the closer to Lake Ontario you're going to go, you're definitely going to find eventually. There could always be somebody who went into an open water spot before, which has happened multiple times where people have gone towards the lake and they're following people, other people's track, figuring they're safe, and they get over towards the lake and they end up in the water too. These freeze overnight and thaw during the day are not good for ice building as temperatures continue to crest above 32 degrees. We're going to need some more cold air, which we could still get, but don't see it in the near future. Adam?